Yes, I want to show you what I have to do to do anything in this truck. I'm going to try to move the camera a little bit so you can get an idea. If I want to use this section over here, through here, I have to move my chair. So here's my chair. I have to fold it up and put it in the cab part of the truck or lean it against something so it would be out of the way. So right now I'm just going to lean it right here. I think that's okay. I had to take the cushion off, off there. So there's that. And let's come into the cab and slip it in there. <laughs> Have a duck so I don't hit my head. Okay. So that's the start. So today I'm going to be doing a sewing project. So let me lower this a little bit. You can see there's my sewing machine. And, of course, my toilet. I had to pull out, I'll show you. I have to pull this out all the way. Probably can't see it, but I have to pull the toilet out all the way. Let's see if I can lower, lower it. I want you to see how complicated it is for one person to do a video. Lower this again. One person to do a video by themselves with nobody while operating the camera. So here's the toilet. I pulled it out from under there. Let's see if you can see what I have to do. I hope you'll catch this. This is crazy, but I have to climb over this and crawl in here to get the things I need uh, for the day. Whatever projects I'm working on crawling down, down in here, and I have to get on over here because that stuff is stored under the bed, under that back side where the, where the wheel well is. I have extra toilet paper and paper towels and my file cabinet and other things in here. I'm going to need this paper today, so I'm going to pull this out. Now also I have extra doggy bags in there and uh, what else? My bath towel when I have to shower, I need to get my bath towel out of there. I have um, an extra blanket and my hat's down there. So that's what I have to do to get the things out of there. Same thing on the other side of the bed. I had to crawl under there to get my sewing kit. So. Then I have to climb back over this and push it back. People think it's easy to live in a small space and especially a lot of people just travel in their vans, mini vans or whatever. They don't realize our big RVs, you have a place for everything. It's more like a house. In here, my whole cab, cab, cabin or box portion is about the size of somebody's bathroom. Everything I own, everything I use on a daily basis is inside this little bathroom size box. Some bathrooms are bigger than my box. So I'm gonna pause this and raise it up. <laughs> so there we go, it's raised up a little bit. You can kinda see where I'm sitting. I'm sitting on my little uh, keyboard stool that I got with the keyboard, so it's a perfect seat. It's cushioned and comfortable. So I'm going to have to do some sewing, so I'll show you. I took the curtains off that wall over there. I have to hem them. I never did hem them, so uh, I said it's time to hem the curtains because I have a lot of projects I'm working on. Just one thing at a time is all we can do. Let me get some lipstick on. Okay, I got a little lipstick on. Yes, I am. That's the only thing I'm vain about, I guess. I don't care how I look. My hair is messed up. I really don't care that much. I don't care if I'm overweight or underweight. I don't care how people see that. But I always think about my lips. Because I think, I remember when I was young, and I shared this on another video at some time. I remember 
little old ladies always had their lipstick smeared all around their lips. And I never want to do that. So I try to get my lipstick on straight, but I'm, I don't always. But it, it's not so visible on camera. So, okay. So here we go. So this is the project I'm working on. These are the curtains that came off. I haven't used this machine lately, so I have to really work on it. But these are the curtains. And you can see I just cut them off. No hem on them. And they fray really bad. If you don't hem them, you can see their threads are hanging off of it. I don't know if you can see them. But they're, the threads are hanging off. Then the, then the threads get cause the edges get really bad and it gets caught up on everything so anyhow so that's about the project I'm working on today as I go along I'll try to bring you back on here during the winter when it's cold and I can't get outside too much. In the summer I can't get out either because it's so hot. The air conditioner always makes a little noise and the sewing machine is pretty noisy too. Sorry about that. Uh, trying to fold it. I said I, I didn't pin it. So I should have pinned it but I didn't. So I'm just trying to go as I fold it as I go. I did one already, so I won't keep bore you with too much of this. But I thought I'd just show you that I'm I'm working. <laughs> I try to utilize every nook and cranny in my truck to put things and there's still never enough room and you see what I have to go through to get to the things I need but that's the way it is when you're living in a very small space any van lifer can tell you that just in case you don't know it whether you go to the live streams or not you want to attend my live stream on August 22nd at 5 p.m. Pacific time, I go live every Sunday, but this is a special one, my 15K celebration on YouTube. I'm giving away some really good prizes, a guitar with case, a $100 gift card, $50 gift card, and many other prizes. You do need to be present in the live chat in order to win one of these prizes. Everybody has equal opportunity. So tell your friends to come and I hope you'll come. Hope you'll be there. So please come. Also, thank you for watching. If you like this, hit the thumbs up. If you want to get notified when I put up a video or a live stream, hit the bell. And thank you all for coming. I love you all. Please tell somebody that you love them today. It'll mean a lot to them. Thanks you for coming.